In this video, I'd like us to look at what's new in Subtitle Edit 3.6.12. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, the new version of Subtitle Edit 3.6.12 has a ton of new exciting features. And I'll just highlight a few from the official website. And uh, there's the option to add or remove embedded subtitles in videos. And these are soft subtitles, which is highly welcome. And I'll show you how you can do that. We also have support for GPU processing in Whisper. That is the use of graphics processing units. And these help speed up transcription and subtitling using Whisper. And this is based on ConstMe. And this is only available on Windows only. Now, there is also an option to allow a video cut or to burn in subtitles to a selection that you make, uh, either on the subtitle section or when you're exporting the video or burning in the video. Uh, when exporting video with band in subs this is highly welcome as well sometimes we need to showcase some maybe a project you have to a client before the final approval next up you have add time codes when generating blank video and also a couple of new shortcuts so i can just uh, take you over here uh, we check on about and this is the latest version subtitle edit 3.6.12 so I've gone ahead and downloaded FFmpeg, Whisper, and also obviously uh, the video player, MPV uh, is already available. So I'm going to start off by probably just doing a quick video here. Open the video, and then we can say we go to Whisper. And there's the new mode now that supports GPU on Windows, Whisper, that is uh, via const. If you right click on this section anywhere right inside here, you see a couple of options. So if I right click here, you'll see Whisper OpenAI. This is a slower version. Then there's Whisper with CPP. This is what I have right now. And if you look on this edge, you can always see what mode you're in, which is highly welcome, Whisper CPP. But when you right click, you'll see Whisper const me GPU. If I click on that, because I've not yet downloaded the files for this, it's going to prompt me to download. I'll click on yes. It's going to download that particular Whisper and it's done. So you can now use Whisper powered by GPU. So if I click on generate, it's going to take a, a couple of seconds for a three minute clip uh, and it's done. It's super, super fast. And you can see that it's cutting up the subtitles really, really nice. It may not be the most accurate uh, because probably of how fast it is. Uh, but I feel that it can save you a ton of time, especially if you just want to generate quick subtitles and then make edits much, much later. So that is the option number one. Next up, we've got uh, the option to generate video with embedded subtitles. You can add or remove. And if you click on this, uh, you can say, for example, this is what I'll do. Because we have a subtitle here, I can press on control save and say sample whisper gpu and once i do that if i go back to video i can click on generate video with added or removed embedded subtitles it's just a lot of wording but this is the embed subtitles option and this is soft subtitles that you can turn on or off so click on this and you'll now see the subtitle we just saved right now once you do that you have the format language default first file name if you have translations for this then you can click on add to add them right inside here. But I'll not do that. I'll just click on generate. It's going to prompt me for a save location. I'll choose maybe, let's say, uh, new. And then my save format is going to be Matroska. Matroska is going to save uh, everything as I want it to be. But before I actually save, I'll actually make this particular subtitle the default. So let me just copy this title and then click on this line and then say toggle default from false to true and then click on generate uh, save with a new title and in the folder that i want to save this file and then once i do that i'll click on save it's done and this is not burning in it is just embedding so if i just click on this folder and navigate to that folder i'll see this particular video if i just double click on it pause it right click subtitle the subtitle track is English, and you can see. With the recent update on the YouTube interface, it's now easier than before to download YouTube transcripts. Hi, my name is David. 
that's the automatic transcription that we've done using whisper uh, gpu and it looks uh really good just some fine tuning here and there but once we've done that we've also embedded the subtitles to a video and obviously you can go to the burning option now let me show you the next exciting feature whereby uh, for example you can access it two ways if i go to video generate video with band in subtitles if i click on that there is now a new option right here it's called cut from two and i can do this i can check this box right there and then if you click on this this is to set the in position for the video let's say you want to maybe submit a project to a client and the video is going to be at that section uh, that's okay click okay when you look at the time it's at the 19 second and then we can come to this and then let's say we want it to be somewhere uh, right about there so click ok and you'll see now it's 19 to 42 seconds it's uh, a really good feature but now uh, the one thing i'd like you to note is that the preview uh, subtitle that you see here that's for this particular option behind here but if you do this preview it's going to go with the settings that you have here or if you're using an ASS subtitle then uh, that is what is going to preview here so if I click on preview this is what your subtitles look like so always make sure that you set the correct subtitle font uh, subtitle size uh, if you want an opaque box etc uh, so that you can actually deliver something that your clients will love uh, and Probably the best way is to use ASS subtitles, uh, give you better styling uh, in terms of how you're going to deliver. So if you're satisfied with this, then you can click on generate. Uh, uh, cut and time must be after start time. Okay, sorry about that. Click on this. Sorry, we just messed that. Click OK. That's fine. And then click on generate. And then we can. it's going to give you this time. Click on save. It's going to burn in the subtitles for that particular section. And then you can open containing folder it's going to highlight it and you can just double click on it how to easily download youtube subtitles uh, and it's playing in the background sorry let's just double click on it how to easily download youtube uh, subtitles as there we go uh, this is what it looks like and in that video the interface was different because uh, what we see here uh, the so you see what it looks like this is if you wanted to supply this to a client then this is good at least you you don't have to burn in subtitles the whole video to deliver a project you can quickly do this and quickly deliver so that is something else and i've shown you using the video generate video with burned in subtitles so what you can do uh, the alternative is select a few lines let's say we want it to be up to that particular section right click selected lines generate video with band in subtitles if i click on that it picks up from which duration to the 13th second which is right here and then you can just click on generate based on what you have so that's highly welcome those are some of the few exciting features to me uh, and then uh, you can now add time codes when generating a blank video that's highly welcome and a ton of shortcuts i can just open the change log here and this is what the change log looks like uh, there's these couple of options batch convert uh, there's also uh, a ton of things here add reading of ttml images from ismt and then there are a couple of improved things uh, fixed uh, things it's just a ton of things so for example improved we've got updated whisper cpp uh, youtube uh, dl is also updated it's just a ton of things right inside here uh i'll show you then if you want to go to the official page to download on github just download subtitle edit 3.6.12 uh here we go and you can just download it uh, the setup if you're on windows and if it gives you that uh this program is not recognized just keep it's not a virus it's just that paying for the certificates uh is, is a little bit costly and this is a free project uh but if i may put it this way the latest additions to subtitle edit 3.6.12 are highly welcome uh whisper gpu for windows hopefully it's going to be available on linux next up we've got embedding adding or embedding subtitles soft subtitles to videos is highly welcome and also the fact that we can now easily burn in a sample of subtitle to deliver to a client 
or maybe for somebody to preview or review is highly welcome and all the other great features so that's it for this video i hope that this video has given you an insight on what's new in subtitle edit 3.6.12 until next time stay safe and never stop learning thanks for watching